name is Jesus. Come on, can you say that tonight? There is one God and his name is Jesus. And we have come to worship that one God. We have come to praise that one name that is above every name. So come on, if you've had a bad day, if you've had a good day, let's put on that garment of praise and let's begin to worship the Lord in Jesus' name. Come on, let's exalt him tonight. wonder what the Lord does while you're praying hard and still waiting. Has he forgotten what's going on? Does he know your poor heart is breaking? Oh, I've learned the truth and my life's the proof. Yes, I know what God did for me. I've been in your place. Now through eyes of faith I can see. God's building bridges and tearing down walls, lifting his children whenever one calls. He's turning rivers of tears back into laughter. He's bending fences, he's changing minds. I see him do it time after time. He's speaking peace to a storm. Because he's the master. Yes, that's what God does between the prayer and the answer. Don't be discouraged. God's on your side, though he may not come in a hurry. Friend, he's on his way and he'll get there in time and prove there's no reason to worry. Oh, there's never been one dark moment when you haven't been there on his mind. And I have no doubt he's working it out and you'll find God's building bridges and tearing down walls lifting his children whenever one falls he's turning rivers of tears back into laughter he's mending fences he's changing minds I see him do it Time after time, he's speaking peace to a storm because he's the master. Yes, that's what God does between the prayer and the answer. If you could see how he's working today, you lift your head up and say, Building bridges and tearing down walls, lifting his children whenever one falls. He's turning rivers of tears back into laughter. He's mending fences, he's changing minds. I've seen him do it time after time. He's speaking peace to a storm because he's a master. Yes, that's what God does between the prayer and the answer. Yes, that's what God does between the prayer and the answer. Hallelujah. Can we just give him praise tonight? Hallelujah. Let me tell you, there's joy in the house of the Lord when you realize that God's in control. How, how many of you know that God's in control tonight? Yeah, Hallelujah. We can have joy in the house of the Lord. I wonder if we can clap our hands tonight. God is good. Hallelujah. All the time. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. the God who was, we worship the God who is, we worship the God who evermore will be. 
He opened the prison doors. He parted the raging sea. My God, He holds the victory. Come on, hallelujah. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out our praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in His place. And we won't be quiet. We shout out our praise. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. Cause he hung up on that cross and he rose up from the grave. My God, still rolling stones away. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. We were the Packers. Now we're royal team. We were the prisoners. Now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by his grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. We were the beggars, now we're royalty. We were the prisoners, now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by his grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. Sing with us, come on. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. And we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. Oh, we shout out we shout out the praise. We shout out the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wonder if we could just praise him in advance tonight. Hallelujah. Whatever the need is that you came in this house with. Hallelujah. There is power in the word of God and it's about to come forth. Hallelujah. Things change when the word of God comes forth. I wonder if we could just shout in advance of the victory. Hallelujah. We don't need to wait until the victory comes. We need to shout now. Hallelujah. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. You know in the end we're gonna win. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout down. You know in the end we're gonna win. Come on. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. You know in the end we're gonna win. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. You know in the end we're gonna win. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. You know in the end you're gonna win. When you're burning down with the chaos of life and your striving seems in vain. Hold your head up high, but I live right. 
The battle's almost over. The war is almost won. We're about to head home to that hallelujah shore. We need to get excited because he is drawing nigh every day. This is wrapping up, folks. Make sure you're on the right side. As my wife preached this last Sunday morning, don't get too close to AI. Don't get close to that heap of ruin. That's what AI means. It's a heap of ruin. Let's make sure we're close to the house of the Lord. Let's get back to Bethel. Let's make sure that in that valley of decision that we are headed toward Bethel and not AI. Amen, amen. You may be seated this evening. In the wonderful name of Jesus, it is good to be in the house of the Lord. Boy, that was quiet. I know it's Wednesday. I know you've worked. I know you've got work tomorrow. But tonight is the night that we celebrate the Lord and we praise his name. We have a reason to rejoice. But you don't know what I'm going through. No, but God does. And with him, you're going to make it. Boy, I was weak tonight, Brother Helen. If you've got Jesus, you're going to make it. And we need to wake up every day and look at that old flesh and say, I've got Jesus and I'm going to make it. So no matter what you're going through, can I tell you that we have victory. And his name is Jesus. Amen, amen. And we have several to pray for tonight. We want to continue to pray. We have, if you haven't gone to vote yet, there's voting right now for the midterms. So make sure you prayerfully go and vote. Amen. We want to see the country turn back to God. That means we got to put the right people in office to help us get that way. Amen. Amen. So make sure that you're voting. Make sure you're praying for all those that are running in Jesus' name. We want to continue to pray for Brother Cerner. This is Sister Galvan's father. He's going through a bunch of tests for his heart and some stress tests. And so we want to pray that God will touch him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wonderful man of God. Appreciate him very much. We want to continue to pray for Sister Crudis, Sister Halterman, Sister Vanjie, Sister LaShonda. Good to see Sister LaShonda with us tonight. Amen. We continue to pray for Sister Stanley, Brother Motes, Brother Clyde, Brother Hobson, Amanda Uriegas, Minnie Collins, Sister Amber, Monica Hernandez, Adley Bustios, Cheryl Baker, Sister Ward, Sister Jones. We want to pray for Sister Jones. She thought she had pink eye. They said, you tested negative for pink eye, but there's still something wrong going on with her eyes. So she said, please pray for me. She had to get a steroid shot and all that business. So we want to pray for her tonight. And if you have a need in your life, does anybody have a need tonight? Amen. Every hand lifted. That's right, because we all have a need tonight. So can I ask you, are you willing to step out in faith and come to an altar and get prayed for? 
because God said where two or three are agreed together on any one thing in his name it shall be done so come on let's agree together let's pray for one another in Jesus name
thank the Lord again tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful. Amen. Praise God for another day in which to worship Him in and to give Him praise for praise God. Amen. I want to make sure that my praise is coming from the depths of my heart. Praise God. I don't want it just to be my voice that's involved or my mouth. Amen. I want it to come from the depths of my heart. Praise God. Amen. You can be seated tonight. Praise the Lord. Uh, Sister LaShonda, are you prepared tonight? Come on up here. Sister Cruz is going to try to follow you if she can. Amen. Praise God. Brother, I need this red mic on. Testing one, two. There you go. You might want to turn it down. She's singing. No, I'm teasing. You going to stay down there? All right. You got enough cord. Don't hang yourself. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Such a jokester, but we love him, right? <laughs> okay. The song I'm going to sing tonight is I Made a Vow to the Lord. Oh, taste and see, the Lord, he is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. I made a vow to Thank you, sister. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Now I'm jealous. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. That was good, sis. Thank you so much. Amen. That was, that, yeah, we'll make it a duet. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, you, you sing and I'll be quiet. Praise God. Amen. Let's all stand for the reading of the word of the Lord tonight. It's good to be in the house of God. Jesus is still coming. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says that in the last days they would be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. And now that entails a lot of things. Amen. Tells us of a day that you and I are going to be living in and we're seeing it today. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But it also shows us that when the Lord comes, it's going to be just a normal day. Amen. You won't have any super sirens going off. You won't have any flashes of lightning going off. Amen. Or happening. Amen. When the Lord comes, it's going to be a normal day like today. Amen. When the Lord comes, the Bible says he's coming as a thief in the night. He's not going to sit there, amen, and give a wake-up call at the last second. He's already doing that now. We've already got the signs and the things that are taking place. But when he comes, amen, most of the world, amen, will not even know. Amen. Praise God. What they're going to catch a glimpse of, amen, is the people, amen, that were ready to meet God, that were blood-bought, amen, Holy Ghost filled, amen, praise God, going up out of here. And that's what they're going to see, amen. It's going to happen in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I don't know who's going to go up first. Amen. Praise God. But I hope, amen, that he goes alphabetically because Crudus comes before Hunt. <laughs> Hunt comes before Torsi. Yeah, but the last shall be first and the first shall be last. That's only on this earth. That's not in heaven. <laughs> amen. Praise the Lord. That's right. That's right. Praise God. Amen. But I might be going up and you be watching me, so... Get your heart right today. Praise the Lord. Can you imagine the fear and the torment that's going to happen to those that are left behind? And they're going to be watching you and I go up here out of the, out of the clear blue. Amen. We're going to defy the laws of gravity. Now watch. Amen. And they're sitting there and they're trying to give it this. Amen. They're hoping, amen, that their time is coming. That's why it's so important for us to know the word of the Lord. I mean, that's why it's so important for us, amen, to make sure that we are full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I want to be among the five wise and not the five foolish virgins, amen, who had oil in their lamp, amen, praise God, who were ready when the Lord came. Uh, this is not a time to be getting ready. This is a time to be ready. That's how close we are to the coming of the Lord. Let's go to the word of the Lord, the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, Exodus, chapter 15. I want to go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 25 first, and then we'll turn backwards, amen, to uh, the book of Exodus. I'm doing this on purpose to get us ready when we turn our clocks back. I want you to get used to going back. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, I just wish that they would just leave that, that, that time alone. Amen. I don't like it when the clocks go backward uh, because it gets dark way too early too soon. Amen. Praise God. Uh, it's good to be in the house, Lord. So good to see um, um, Brother Raymond and his wife. I see. I think it's Sister Laflori, Lafilia. Okay, I want to make sure Lafilia. I want to make sure I get that right because I got to get that logged into my mind. It took me forever to remember Ladarius. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And finally, Amen. It just came to my mind. How dare you? And so Ladarius. Amen. Praise God. It's good to see Sister Bishop tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, just good to have each and every one of you that are here. Pray for those that are not here tonight for whatever reason that they're not here. Um, we all need the Word of God. Amen. We need more church services, not less. Amen. Amen. Uh, Isaiah chapter 25, I want to read uh, one verse of Scripture, and then you'll turn to Isaiah 26. Then we'll go back to Exodus chapter uh, 15. Amen. Praise God. It's good to see Sister Crudus tonight. Thank you, Brother Bishop. Praise God. Y'all pray for Sister Crudus. Amen. Uh, I pray for her every day, every night. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, I can't afford to lose a good cook. Amen. Praise the Lord. I pray. Amen. I want you to know. I'll just go ahead and let it all hang out. 
Amen. I, I prayed for Sister Hunt today. I prayed for Sister Bishop. I prayed for Sister Schreiber. I prayed for Sister Crudus. Praise the Lord. Amen. I prayed for, let's see, who else is out here? Sister Vanji. I prayed for you uh, today, this morning, and this afternoon. I prayed, Brother Raymond, I prayed for your wife. Amen. That God would heal those bone spurs. Amen. I prayed for Sister Lashonda. I prayed for Sister Minnie. Amen. Praise God. Now, and I prayed for Sister Amber because she's having to put up with Aiden. He's getting taller than her. And I just, I, there's people that I just pray for. Brother Lee, I prayed for your mom today. Amen. Praise God. Praying for God to clear up her eyes. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, I'm getting in practice. Amen. Praise God. I, I prayed for Brother Motes. Uh, remember, he's a good preacher friend of mine, and, and Brother Motes is the one that has been diagnosed with cancer of the lungs, uh, of the lung. Amen. And uh, he goes for another report or another exam this next week. And I am praying, amen, for a good report. Even when he gets a bad report, I just sit there and say, God, the doctors don't have the final answer on this. You do. Amen. And, and I just pray because I believe that God's going to touch him and heal him. Uh, pray for Brother Clyde. Now, Brother Clyde has been here. He's the one that had the stroke, and his, the right side of his body was pretty much paralyzed. He's getting a little bit of movement, not much, but he goes for a special uh, procedure uh, in Florida, and that's going to happen next Monday. He leaves Thursday to go to Florida, and I told him I'm going to be praying for him while he's on the road, and I'm praying that this will work. Praise God. And I just like to see people even do well. Amen. Praise God. All right, Isaiah 25, verse number 1. O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee, and I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Now watch these words. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Amen. What a declaration, amen, that's being stated. Verse, or chapter 26, verse 3 and 4. Amen. I promise not to keep you long tonight. Praise God. Amen. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Verse 4, trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. He's not strong, amen, just one day out of the week. He's not mighty, praise God, amen, just once in a while. He has everlasting strength, might, power, wisdom, praise the Lord. He has all knowledge, praise God. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 15. Amen. We're going to read just a few verses of Scripture. Don't have time. Amen. Praise God. Exodus chapter 15. Praise God. Verse number 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. It's talking about their escape out of Egypt and Pharaoh's riders and chariots and horses that were overthrown in the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. And I will prepare him a habitation, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, oh, we're in verse 50. Verse number 9. I'm sorry. Praise God. Man, I was about to read that whole chapter. Verse 9. The enemy said, now this is Pharaoh. He said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil, my lust shall be satisfied upon them, and I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. I want us to turn to verse number 16. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. He's talking about Pharaoh now and the Egyptians. By the greatness of thine arm they shall be as still as a stone. Till thy people pass over, O Lord, till the people pass over which thou hast purchased. Amen. Praise God. You can be seated. Amen. Tonight, praise the Lord for the sake of time.
exactly a song of Isaiah. Exodus 15 tells us in verse number 1, it's the song of Moses, praise God. And they are very, very important tonight. They are very far-reaching, and they give us, amen, one of the greatest reasons for praise and adoration. Now, I'm here to tell you, I believe, amen, that we ought to be the best praisers in the world. We have everything to shout about, amen, praise God. Amen. When we come into the house of the Lord, amen, we're supposed to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. We're to be thankful unto him, and we're to bless his name. Can I get an amen? We're to praise him in the beauty of holiness. We're to praise him in the sanctuary. We're, we're to praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise God. And so we are to be the praisers, amen, of God, the worshipers of God. Amen. We have a reason today, amen, through these chapters, these verses of Scripture. They give us, amen, an understanding, amen amen, of confidence in God. Can I get an amen? There's an abiding truth, amen, tonight that stands forever throughout, amen, the portals of time. It's one of the greatest revelations, I believe, for the church today. I believe it will help us, amen, when we're going through the trials and the vicissitudes of life. I believe it will help us when disappointment and discouragement comes our way. Are you ready? Praise God. You're going to have to start with me if you're going to finish with me because I'm going to start off running, praise God. Because these texts reveal to us one of the greatest attributes known, amen, to God. What he has been in the past is what he will be in the future. What he was yesterday, he's going to be today. He's going to be tomorrow. He's going to be forever, praise the Lord. Malachi 3 and 6, the Lord said, I am the Lord and I change not, praise God. That's not just talking about his might and his power. That's talking about his mercy. That's talking about his grace. That's talking about the goodness of the Lord. Everything about God, amen, is from everlasting to everlasting. Can I get an amen? How many know that it's a good thing to worship God? How many know that it's a good thing that God changeth not in midstream? Amen. How many know, amen, praise God, that this is a very precious and blessed moment that Isaiah and also, amen, the writer Moses, amen, is giving to us concerning the things of God. In Isaiah 25 and 1, he said, I will exalt thee. He said, I will praise thy name. But here's the reason why, amen, they have such a great song to sing. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth because it speaks of one thing that is so grand and so powerful that sometimes, amen, if we're not careful, we can misuse it, abuse it, or even forget it, amen, and it's called the faithfulness of God. His purposes, his promises are always sure. His counsel, his decrees are already fixed. He's a covenant keeping God from beginning to end. I'll wait on you, praise God. You don't have to worry about God. God backing up. You don't have to worry about God forgetting, amen, what he has stated or promised, amen. He is faithful, praise the Lord, from the day that he spoke it, amen, to the day that it, it happens. That's the reason why we can come this morning or this evening and worship God. It shows us, amen, how we get the victory. Did you know, amen, that your praise must go up before God, that God has already set ambushments, God is already ready to deliver, God has already set things in place, amen, praise God. You and I Amen. Have a song of victory. You and I can come and rejoice in the Lord because God is faithful. I said he's faithful. I said he's faithful, praise God. You can't count on man. You can't trust in man. You can't trust him in, in the diplomacy of men today. But I'm here to tell you, you can't put your trust in God. You can't believe God and take him at his word. You don't ever have to second guess God because God is always faithful. Amen. Amen. He's faithful in word. He's faithful indeed. He's faithful in the morning. He's faithful at night. He's faithful on the mountain. He's faithful in the valley. Not one good thing hath failed with God. Not one thing, amen, that God hath promised, amen, has been somehow, amen, put aside or cast away. It's already promised. It's already done. Can I get an amen? Numbers 23 and 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, shall he not do it? Hath he spoken, shall he 
may not make it good. I just want to help us tonight, amen, to understand that God is faithful, praise God. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, praise God, God is faithful. God has never dropped the ball, amen, in midstream. I want us to understand how faithful that God is. When we come to the house of the Lord, we ought to come ready to rejoice, ready to praise God, ready to lift our hands, ready to open up our mouths, amen, and sing the songs of Zion. Praise the Lord. Whether you're in a great calm or in a great crisis, God is still faithful. He's strength to the poor. He's strength to the needy. He's a refuge from our storms, and he's a shadow from our heats. He's a pillar of cloud by day. He's a pillar of cloud by night. It's the ultimate revelation to the church today, praise God, that God is simply faithfully men. Praise God. Whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the evening, God is faithful, praise the Lord. When I go down at night, I'm not worried, amen, praise God. There is no fear in my heart. God has promised, amen, praise the Lord, that I am kept by the power of God. I want you to know, amen, I'm not thinking about losing the Holy Ghost. God, if I go to bed tonight with the Holy Ghost, I'm getting up in the morning with the Holy Ghost for one reason and one reason only, because God is faithful to his people. I want us amen, to understand, it's just a short message tonight, praise God. But God has given us one thing that you and I need to understand. There's a divine provision that's already in place. There's a divine protection that God has over us. There's a divine assurance that the church has. There's a divine strength, amen, that you and I enjoy today. All because of one thing and one thing only. Because God is faithful morning, noon, and night, praise God. He was faithful yesterday. He was faithful today. He's going to be faithful tomorrow. I'm sorry, praise God, amen, if I'm not even somehow stirring you today or tonight, praise God. But this morning I walked into this church, had a cup of coffee, put it down, said, God, I got to pray. And I want you to know it was like the light came on. God was here today. He was here yesterday. He's here today. He's going to be here tomorrow because God is faithful. Man, I had a time with the Lord today. It was almost shouting time, praise God. I want you to know, amen, it was beautiful this morning. God met me in this house, praise God. Now, I'm sorry, amen, if you had to work, praise the Lord. But I want you to know, amen, that God does bless us because of his faithfulness. And we need a word from the Lord from time to time. And I believe this is it. I believe this is the vision that God would give to the church. I believe it is a rich understanding of how faithful God is to his church, to his people. There's a spiritual life. There's an abundant life that awaits each and every one of us. There's a place, amen, that God would have us to get to so that when we face the frustrations and the disappointments of life, we we still trust God. We still believe God. We still acknowledge God. Why, praise God? Because God is faithful. This is doing more for me than it's doing for you, praise God. But I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter what I go through. Doesn't matter what I face. Doesn't matter the circumstance or the situation. Praise the Lord. I have learned, amen, praise God, just to put it in God's hand. Man may not be able to fix it, but God surely can. And I want you to know, praise God, you'll never be left alone. God has promised, amen, praise the Lord, that he would never leave us nor forsake us. What are you saying? He's faithful. He'll be there in the noontime. He'll be there in the morning. He'll be there in the midnight hour. He'll be there in the time of calm. He'll be there in the midst of crisis. Praise God. When you don't know which way to go, God does. And God says, amen, I will be faithful unto you. Can I get an amen in the house? Could somebody thank the Lord one more time? Could we clap our hands and say, Jesus, I am so glad to know, amen, that you are an on-time God, that you are faithful, amen. <laughs> praise God, amen, praise the Lord. The Bible says in Romans 8 and 28, we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. We may not understand what's going on. We may not agree with the things that are taking place, but God already has it already in control. Everything is in his hand. Amen. Let me try it again. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. You and I have been called. There is a purpose in mind with God. He did not bring us out. Amen. To drop us off halfway through. He plans to take us to the other side. Amen. If God Amen. has called you by name and filled you with the Holy Ghost. There was a divine purpose, amen, that he's got a plan for your life, praise God. Hey, God's got a purpose for you today. Amen, I'm here to tell you. God wants us, amen, to go a little farther, go a little higher, amen. We need to move in the dimension, amen, of knowing that God is faithful above all else. 
Amen. Praise God. How many believe that God is faithful? Amen. Now, how many really believe that God is faithful? Amen. Amen. Praise God. You're going through something right now. You're facing something. Praise God. You're not sure how it's going to end. Can I tell you, God's already got it figured out. Because this is a very important thing for us to understand and to have. These are serious times in which you and I live. And much today is at stake. People are being weighed in the balances and found wanting. Iniquity is abounding. The love of many is waxing cold. There's more lovers of pleasure than there are lovers of God. I'll wait on your praise God. There's those that have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. Last Wednesday, amen, I took liberty and license. Second Peter chapter 2. And I said some things, amen. And I just want to mention these things. In verse 13 it says sporting themselves with their own dis deceivings verse 14 they were covetous practices and wicked children verse 15 which have forsaken the right way amen praise God and we got people like that but I am so glad amen though man may drop the ball and man may turn around and walk out we've got a God that says I'll be with you to the end of the age amen lo amen praise God I am with you always amen I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you if we leave this place tonight we need to have that reverberating in our heart and soul that God is for me and God is with me and God is faithful to the end amen, amen. I know amen that I'm usually up here praise God amen on the other side what they call negative preaching praise God talking about the ills and and the things amen that that are now coming to pass and beware of this beware of that praise God and that's all right we need that kind of preaching we got to set up some guardrails so you don't run off into the ditch but I am so glad praise God that I've got a God that is faithful that I can depend on him each and every day hey church I started this race amen some 40 years ago God called me out by name God filled me with the Holy Ghost I got baptized in Jesus Jesus name let me tell you how did I get the Holy Ghost because God was faithful he promised it amen in the Old Testament he promised it in the New Testament and here I stand today praise God simply because God is faithful anybody ever had a miracle get a prayer answered praise God get a touch from the Lord amen come walking through that door amen praise God can't seem to lift up your head amen because you've had a bad day let me go on record God never has a bad day God amen is always at his best amen God knows exactly what he's going to do he knows exactly where you are he's got your zip code he's got your address he knows what you've gone through he knows what you've been through he knows what you're going through praise God but I'm here to tell you that does not stop God or deter God God is faithful praise the Lord and you ought to thank God, amen, that God said, amen, praise God, he's going to bring us out. I'm not trying to belabor the point, praise God, but I want you to understand, this is doing something for me, praise God. No matter what I face, amen, today or tomorrow or down the road, my God is still faithful. I said, my God is still faithful. Amen, we need to get to the place that we totally Trust God that our confidence, amen, is in the Lord. Can I get an amen? The Bible said in Isaiah 26 and 3 of our text, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. My trust is in God. God cannot fail. God cannot lie, praise God. Come on, church, can I get an amen? You've got a God, praise the Lord, that can never fail, amen, praise God. If God has ever called you out to do something, be assured, amen, that God is with you and going to help you get it done. Amen. Just say it with me, he's faithful. Just say it with me, he's faithful. Verse 4, Isaiah 26, trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord is everlasting strength. Amen. Do you understand, praise God, his might, his power, his strength is everlasting? Then he says, on top of that, he said, trust in the Lord forever. Don't just trust him when everything's going well. Amen. How many believe that this Bible is a good resource to go to? How many believe that these scriptures, amen, are a good thing to have tonight? It's time for us, amen, to put our trust in God. It's time for us to put our confidence in this book called the Bible. They tell us some things that otherwise you and I probably wouldn't know. They help us to see that God has done some wonderful things throughout the Word of God, and He's still doing them today. It helps us to understand, praise God, that God's already got the end all mapped out. Amen. He's already declared the end from the beginning. You don't have to worry about God showing up. You don't have to worry about God doing His part. Amen. Praise God, because God is faithful. 
I feel this, praise God, inside of me. I feel a spirit of the Lord upon me, maybe a spirit of prophecy, praise God. But I'm here to tell you, if you have ever heard the voice of God, you ever got a promise from God, be assured, amen, that God is able to keep it and able to perform it, praise God. There's not anything that God cannot do. Can I get an amen? I said he's not weak. He's not an anemic. I know even we're in the 21st century, but from the first century church, there was power in the upper room. There's still power, amen, in this church today. I still believe, amen, in the healing of the sick. I still believe in the raising of the dead. I believe he can still open up the blinded eyes. Why do we pray, praise God, if we don't believe that God is faithful? Amen. 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 Praise God, I pray for people, amen. Sometimes I don't see the results. I just put it into God's hand. doesn't destroy my faith. We've got to get to the place that we understand that God is faithful. I said God is faithful. Well, I'll just go ahead and jump the gun. Those of you that need the Holy Ghost, amen. God, you're not waiting on God. God's waiting on you. He's ready to pour it out. He said, amen, upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it, amen. And this promise is unto you and to your children, to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. What are we waiting on? God is faithful. He'll always do what he has promised. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. These things, amen, that are written in the Word of God encourage us. They inspire us. Amen. They, they, they should ignite us, praise God, to know that God is still on the throne and God is faithful. Amen. These scriptures, amen, that it says, amen, praise God, to put your trust in the Lord, Jehovah, amen, praise God, for everlasting, amen, that his strength is from everlasting. It tells us two things in those verses of scriptures that we and I, that you and I, excuse me, need to understand. Number one, God is faithful and God is true. You'll never catch God in a lie. God's not given to fibs or alibis. You, you didn't hear me. God doesn't have to back up anything. What he says, amen, it is. Can I say amen? The second thing you and I need to understand tonight is when God counsels us, he's telling us that we need to be faithful. It's not right for God alone to be faithful. Amen. If God is faithful, we need to be faithful. God is truth, amen, and we need to love truth. Can I get an Amen. So if you're discouraged, if you're disheartened, amen, if things have got you down tonight, if something's gone against you, God is saying these words, be faithful and just love the truth, praise God. No matter what's happened, no matter what hasn't happened, amen, be faithful and love the truth. If you don't know what you're supposed to do, amen, and your back is against the wall, God is just saying one thing, just be faithful and love the truth because I promise you, praise God, my word, amen, shall come to pass. If it's ever been promised, if it's ever been prophesied, be assured him and praise God that God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. Have he not said, shall he not do it? Praise God. Have he not promised, shall he not perform it? I'm here to tell you, praise God, God is faithful. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say God is faithful. I'm trying, amen, praise God, to help us to understand, amen, that we are living in the last days and things, amen, are coming to pass. Amen, we see some things that a lot of people are troubled with, disheartening things. But I'm here to tell you, whether you're sick, weary, or tired, if you're hurt, wounded, and in pain, God is saying, just be faithful and love my truth. The first thing that a steward has to be, according to 1 Corinthians 4 and 2, is to be found faithful. The first thing a preacher has to be is to be found faithful. I didn't say he had to be a good orator, that he had to be a good sermon preparer, amen. He had to be a good preacher, praise God, as far as words, amen, concerned. He's got to be faithful. I'm here to tell you, we're supposed to be an example of the believer, and that means that we got to be faithful, praise God. Uh, people need to be able to look at us and say, yeah, there goes somebody, amen, that's faithful to the cause of Christ. There's someone that's faithful to live for God. There's someone that's faithful in the things of the Lord. I don't know if you're getting it, praise God, amen, but I'm here to tell you, you and I bear witness today. We have a testimony, amen that you and I must live and we must be faithful in the things of God. I would wait, I'm waiting on you to say amen. You got to be faithful first. I said you got to be faithful first. The first thing that a saint has to be, he's got to be faithful. All of God's people have to be faithful. It's required in the word of God. So turn to someone right now and say, hey, be faithful. Somebody say Amen. I turn to them again and say, and you better love the truth. (laughs) 
Hello? See, I'm striking right now, praise God. You don't even know. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. Amen? Praise God. Deuteronomy 7 and 9 says, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Praise the Lord. If you're asking me, praise God, he was faithful yesterday. He's been faithful today. He's going to be faithful tomorrow unto a thousand generations. Praise God. Because he is God, he is my God, and he is a faithful God. I didn't say he's just a God. I said he's my God. I didn't say he's just a God. I said he's my God. My trust and confidence is in the Lord, praise God. Amen. Men may fail you, praise God, but God never can fail. You can put your trust in the Lord. You can believe in his word because God is faithful. Somebody say that with me. God is faithful. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, be faithful and love the truth. Trust him no matter what. Trust him regardless of your situation. Trust him regardless of your pain. Trust him regardless. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What you're going through. Because he's still your strength. He's still your song. He's still your salvation. He's still your God. Come on, church. Praise God. He's still your redeemer. He's still your savior. That's why we read him in Exodus chapter 15 and verse number 2. It was called the song of Moses. They're rejoicing in the Lord. And here's what they were getting excited about him in from their deliverance, praise God. He said, he's my strength. He's my song. He's my salvation. He's my God. Amen. I have every reason to rejoice, every reason to sing because he's my God. And he's faithful. God is faithful. I said, God is faithful. And God expects his church to be faithful. Are you ready? We need to be faithful in our marriage, faithful to the church, faithful on the job, faithful in our giving, faithful in our time. Amen. God is faithful. Praise God. Why is it we always want him to pour out and give? Amen. But the antidote to that, praise God, is the first part is give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. For with what measure you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. God is just simply saying, praise God, if you'll trust me and prove me here with, amen, I can take what you give me. Praise God. I can multiply it. I can open up the windows of heaven. I can pour out a blessing you can't even contain. I'm here to tell you, you got a God that's faithful. Has anybody found found the Lord to be faithful? Has anybody proven the Lord to be faithful? Has anybody seen the Lord be faithful? Amen. Amen. God is faithful, praise God. He requires his church to be faithful because when I get up in the morning, I can sense him in the very presence of God. I think it's an awesome thing, amen. When I lay my head down at night, I feel the presence of the Lord. When I get up in the morning, I feel the presence of the Lord. When I walk through the day, I feel the presence of the Lord, praise God. Maybe you're not hearing me. That's just showing the faithfulness of God. I know we don't walk, amen, by sight or by sensation. We walk by faith, but aren't you glad that there are days and times uh, that God just shows up, puts his arms around you, puts his hand on you, and you can feel him in the awesome presence of God. You know what that is? That's the awesome fellow of uh, uh, faithfulness of God. God is faithful. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love this. Praise God. Hebrews 13 and 5 says, I'll never leave you. Now, either that's a lie or a misprint, praise God, or God didn't mean what he said. Just because you don't feel him doesn't mean that he left. He's everywhere all the time at the same time. Amen. Now, I know you like this. Praise God. Amen. He can leave where he is, go to where you are, and never have left where he was. He's everywhere all the time, same time. Praise God. Amen. He's here right now. He's already in tomorrow. Amen. The Bible says the heaven of heavens cannot even contain him. He filleth all space. Praise God. Amen. He's everywhere. Praise God. Faithful. God is faithful. 
Amen. I want us to understand that Matthew 28, 20, Jesus said, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. That was upon the great commission, amen, the commandment of the Lord. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now watch. And Jesus says, Lo, I'm with you always. Don't you know there were times, amen, they suffered persecution? Did you know that all of the disciples of the Lord, the 12 apostles, except for one, amen, were martyrs? Amen. They suffered persecution. They went through trial. They went through tribulation. Praise the Lord. How were they able to do it? Praise God. Because because, amen, they had this concept that God was faithful. He would not allow them to go through anything, that God would not go through it with them, amen. Don't you know if you're going into the fire, amen, you're going to meet the fourth man in the fire. Don't you know when you cross the river, you got a God, amen, that opened up that river, amen. We've got a God, amen, that said, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you, but with every trial, every test, amen, I will make a way of escape. That means that God is still faithful. Amen. 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 Praise God. So when we get up in the morning and we see that sun coming up in the east. Amen. I believe it still comes up in the east. Can I help you with something? Give me Psalms 50 and verse 1. I wasn't going to go there, but we'll just go ahead and use it to kind of tie this little tail on this kite. Psalms 50 and verse number 1. Read it. The mighty God. Even the Lord hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. That's all I want. Praise God. Amen. Even God, the mighty God, he hath called the rising of the sun and the going down thereof. Amen. That sun, when it comes up in the morning, is not just to put a little sunshine on your flowers. Amen. It's not just coming up to put a little heat, amen, on the crops. It's coming up, amen, bringing us witness and testimony. Amen. That God is faithful. Amen. It speaks, amen, of the greatness and the goodness of God. It shows the faithfulness of the Lord. It's God's message, amen, of his truth, amen, that is established forever. It shows us the faithfulness of God. Psalms 113 and 3 says, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. We have quoted that scripture many times, amen, but we don't understand, amen, the full depth of that scripture. He wasn't just saying, amen, because God has given us a day, I think I'll praise him for it. What he's saying is morning, noon, and night. The sun is coming up, amen. If it goes down tonight, I'm guaranteed it's coming up in the morning, praise God. You don't have to worry about the sun coming up, amen. You don't have to worry about the moon and the stars, amen, in their, in their orbit. I'm here to tell you God is faithful. He has put everything into existence praise God when you get up in the morning you see that son you know that God is faithful yeah. I'll try it one more time 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Get that verse of Scripture up there, Brother Lee. But God is faithful. Oh, wait a minute. Amen. You see that? I had him put an hourglass with a Bible up there. Praise God. That no matter how much time has elapsed, amen, the Word of God cannot fail because God is faithful. Everything about God, amen, has to do with his faithfulness. You don't have to worry about God keeping his Word. He's faithful. You don't have to worry about God performing his promises. He's faithful. You have to worry about God keeping his prophecies. He's faithful. Amen. Every time you turn in the word of God, you will find the faithfulness of God. Can I get an amen? amen. Now let's pull up. Amen. Praise God. That verse of scripture, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. I want you to read it with me. Praise God. It's a scripture. Amen. That I love to quote. Praise God. But I want us to understand it. There had no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what kind of mess you're facing, praise God. I'm here to tell you, you got a God that is faithful. Amen. 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 Well, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. Well, you don't understand the trials I'm in. You don't understand the heartache I'm facing. Praise God. You don't understand, amen, the diagnosis that I got. Let me tell you something. God has promised, amen, to be with you. He hath made a way where there seemeth to be no way. Can I get an amen? I'm doing the best that I can, praise God, amen. God is faithful. He'll make a way, amen, where there seemeth to be no way. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury tonight, amen, can anyone bring any accusation against God? Is there any fault with God? 
Come on, can anyone charge God, amen, with any unfaithfulness? You can't do it, amen, by the scriptures. If you would read your Bible, you will find out that everything that God has promised and said, amen, praise God, he will do it, amen. In our text of Exodus chapter 15, musicians get ready, I'm nearly done. Well, it's one of my favorite verses in the Old Testament. It's the song of Moses. We read it to you. It's the deliverance of the children of Israel out of Egyptian bondage. It's the crossing of the Red Sea. Now, we preach on that a lot, praise God, about the mighty deliverance, how that God had opened up, amen, this great, huge mass uh, uh, um, um, sea, praise God, amen. For three million people to walk across, amen, in a reason of time. I just learned the other day that, that the expanse of that sea, the width of that sea was 13 miles, amen, praise God, wide. Not long, wide. And where they crossed, praise God, was somewhere around 2,400 to 2,500 feet deep, amen, that it's estimated. And God had an east wind and began to blow, and that wind blew all night. When they got up in the morning, praise God, they weren't sloshing through the mud, amen. They walked across on dry ground. For 13 miles, and you got 3 million people, amen. Can you imagine how wide, amen, that breach had to be for them to get over on a reasonable time, amen, because Pharaoh is hot on their trails, praise the Lord. Let me tell you something, and I'm sorry, not Israel, but Egypt is on their, their backs, amen, praise God, and here they come. Now watch, amen, and that pillar of fire stood between them, amen, and the Egyptian army. God has made a way where there seemeth to be no way. When they cried out and said, oh, woe is us, amen, they've come to kill us and destroy us, amen. And when Moses entreated the Lord, he said, just go forward. What do you mean? He said, I'll make a way. God is faithful, church. God even means exactly what he says. Amen. 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 And so Moses, amen, and then and, and uh, Miriam take up the tambourine, and they start singing and praising God because of their deliverance. Amen. And he says in verse 2, the Lord is my strength. He's my song. He has become my salvation. He's my God. Verse 9, I read it to you. The enemy, Pharaoh, said, I will pursue and overtake, and my hand shall destroy them. But now watch verse number 16. If you got your Bible, open it up. Amen. Exodus chapter 15, verse 16. You got to read this for yourself. You need to read this, praise God. Know that it's in there. I'm just not making something up. I got some good news for you today. Amen. I don't, care, I, don't know, I don't care how long you've had the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You may be thinking that God has delayed his coming. He hadn't delayed his coming. The timing is in God's hand. Amen. God is faithful. Praise God. He has promised some things. He's going to keep his word. Now look at verse number 16. It says, But fear and dread shall fall upon them, talking about the Egyptians, by the greatness of thine arm, O God, thou that they shall be still as a stone until the people pass over, O Lord, until the people pass over, which thou hast redeemed. And here's the point, amen, that I want to make. The prophet of God is, gonna, is telling us that God is going to show up and God is going to get involved with his people and God is going to push back, amen, the enemy and God is going to push back the waters. We know that part, amen, praise God. But are you ready for the revelation? How long is God going to do this? How long is God going to be involved with his people? How long is God going to push back the enemy? How long is God going to push back him in the waters? Amen. Well, the Bible tells us until the people pass over. That's good for old people. That's good for slow people. That's good for each and every one of us. Amen. God says, amen, praise God, I am faithful, and I will do this until you get over to the other side. Amen. Aren't you glad he's faithful? I said, aren't you glad he's faithful? Amen. The promise of the Lord is till they pass over to the other side. Praise God. I'm rejoicing, amen, today because God is rolling back my situations. He's taking care of my enemies. Amen. God is going to bring me out. Praise God. Smelling like a rose. God is so faithful. That's why I read to you, amen, in Isaiah 25 and 1. O Lord, thou art my God, and I will exalt thee, and I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. And thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Amen. You ready? Praise God. I wrote some scriptures, amen, after writing this message, amen, today. Amen, as the Lord began to deal with me, praise God. It just simply says, God is faithful. It says, with the sickness always comes the cure. And with the problem always comes, amen, the answer. 
And with the temptation, God always brings away. Isaiah 59 and 19 says, When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The Bible says in Psalms 30 and 5, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is still coming in the morning. Job 42 and 10, amen. The Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before because God is faithful. Could we all stand in the house of the Lord? Simply God is faithful, amen. Brother Hunt, I know I tease you a lot, but we can't forget Psalms 37, 25, amen. It says, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor a seed begging bread. You know what that means? Praise God, amen. That means that you and I don't have to worry. God is faithful. I said, God is faithful, amen. Let's sing before the Lord. Praise God. There's not a victory. Let's thank God for his faithfulness. Amen. Are you ready? I'm ready to go home, but I got to tell you this. Same passage of Scripture, Psalms 37, verse 26. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Do you know what that means? He's always giving. You don't have to worry about God. He always lendeth. Verse number 28 says, He forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. Verse 29, I'm closing. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. Forever. Because God is faithful. Amen. If you have a desire to make it, you will make it because God is faithful. Let's put our hands together. Thank the Lord for his word. Amen. Praise God. I said God is faithful. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's not forget him in this week and invite someone to the house of God. Amen. Brother Gilliam is going to be with us. I believe his family is coming. I'll touch base with him tomorrow. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. If you will get this concept that we preach tonight, this principle, God is faithful. Go ahead and bring all your hurts and your pains, amen. Bring all, amen, all of your troubles, praise God. Because I know a God, amen, is faithful enough, amen, that he has promised, praise God, that we will never leave the same way we came. Amen, praise God. If we can put our trust in the Lord, if we can trust in Jehovah, amen, for his everlasting strength, you and I, amen, will leave on Sunday blessed, amen, and highly favored of God. Do you believe that? So invite someone to the house of God. It's going to be a good time. 
Now, I want to tell you this. I mean, tomorrow is supposed to be a, a pretty good day, I guess. Well, it's going to be a great day because it's the day that God has made. On Friday, amen, they're telling me we've got 80% chance of rain. Yes, I'm still praying for rain. Amen. Uh, Brother Bishop said 80. Brother Hamilton said 80%. Praise God. I'd rather take their word than I would John Roberts. Ron Roberts. There you go. See, just, I don't know who they are, but I know that you hear them sometimes and they say you're going to have this. But it's supposed to be the high of 52 on Friday. Amen. So kind of wrap up on Friday. There's some of us that's going to enjoy that beautiful, cool air. Praise God. Did you know we didn't even have to turn on any air conditioners tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. So let's invite someone to the house of God. Bring someone. Your children need to be in church. Your grandchildren need to be in church. Amen. Your neighbor needs to be in church. Praise God. Because I'm going to be praying. You're going to be praying. Amen. That God, amen, is going to show himself faithful on Sunday. Amen. You're dismissed in the love of God.